Hey guys and welcome back to another tour on the Chaos Craft fan server and today we are going to be checking out this really awesome modern mansion that you can see right in front of me but guys if you want to come and check out this build for yourself maybe even play creative role play mini games or come and check out the brand new survival server the IP will be at the top of the screen and in the description is mc.chaoscraft net so yes guys we are going to be checking out this really epic modern mansion that you can see right here now i have to say this house is probably one of like a house that i would want to live in if i was a millionaire or something like that it looks really really cool so we're going to take a little fly around check it all out we are actually in the warp south bay right here and as you can tell this is in a nice hidden plot right there you can just see it through the trees and the view that i actually started off on was actually the back of the house because i think this is one of the nicest views it looks really cool with the swimming pool there at the bottom so we're going to fly around the side as you can see it's got kind of this kind of traditional style roof where it goes to a pointed roof you don't really see that on modern builds but i like the way you've incorporated it into this build now the funny fact is guys i don't know who actually built this house i'm not sure there is no sign or anything like that probably by the time i upload this video i will find out and i'll put it in the description or something like that hopefully i see a sign on the way through the house but this is the front of the house this is the main kind of like driveway the front entrance and it looks really cool i like the fact you've used the pointed roof you don't usually see that on modern houses and incorporating that in the modern style i think you've pulled that off very very well so let's go to the front of the house right here and this is the main entrance as you can see there is no sign so i don't know who actually built this so we're going to go down the driveway here and like I mentioned before, this is the main entrance to the house. Going to take a little fly around this side of the house as well. Just look at some of the details too. Side of the house. Look at that, guys. Just a little tension to detail there. Just holding up the roof right there. And this takes us back around to the back of the house that we saw before. So very modern feel. You could tell by the cubes and the squares. Modern is ha modern style has a very robust shape. You know, it's very sharp edges, uh, very cube-like. That's that's just how modern is modern's always like that but i like the fact you've kind of mixed it up with the roof as well so let's get down to the floor and go on the ground level and actually check this out so as you can see we're in the warp south bay there is some empty plots in south bay guys as you can see over there there and over here where you can build a house if you want to um but we're going to walk into this house now this is what it's like when you walk in as you can see it seems very private at the start until you get round to the main driveway and you actually see the the, the 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 huge house just look at it it looks absolutely awesome so we're going to go in this way here is there a sign on the front door or no no sign at all so what we're going to do we're going to check out the garage first i don't think the house leads us back around to it oh it does it does lead us back around but we're going to check this out first anyway so we've got a nice car in here looking pretty awesome i was wondering if there's going to be like a number plate on it telling me who actually built the house but there isn't there's no signs over here as well we've got nos over there that's awesome so this is the garage there as well nice garage door nice and sleek right there so let's go in the main entrance and actually check this out now i have to say guys like i said already this house is definitely my style of house like in real life this is the kind of house that i would want to live in if i was a billionaire so as we go straight into this house we enter the lobby area right here and it's just like a nice little seating area very unique couch designs right here using the rails and carpet and in what is this is this a slab oh yes yeah, a purple slab right there and look at this for a coffee table really unique block i don't even know how to get this block personally but i know what it is it's the underside of a piston so it's a piston without let me just turn that off quickly it's a piston without the kind of like wooden bit on top and you you get it well edit somehow i'm not sure how to get it but it looks really cool as like a countertop it really looks absolutely awesome and i love this block here this block here is actually a mushroom block for like to add that different tone to the floor right there and you've got these nice lights hanging above uh looking really really cool with the big window look at the view you can see the swimming pool outside so we're going to continue on going around to the left this time and we are in the dining room so very big grand dining room i like the fact you have these open doors just kind of making the room feel a lot more bigger and uh just looking a lot more grand in this area and i think it looks awesome we've got this nice uh glass cabinet very very simple but just look does the job absolutely awesomely and then we've got this really cool hanging light here just look at that using the rails to, to make it connect to the ceiling and i think that's the piston block again i think i'm not 100 sure i have to oh no it's a purple slab 
using the if you if you can see there guys we have the end rod block uh like not the end rod the end portal block and when you go underneath it's actually invisible now the reason people do that is because the end portal block actually gives off light so it's a cool little way to hide some lighting in your house uh very cool table design though i really like the chairs nice sleek and modern and i like the actual table design as well and you can see the running theme for this house is very open the whole house feels very open you've got all these big windows everywhere it's like you should have in a modern house i expect that every time i go into a modern house now if we go here we have this really nice uh, wall divider now i know it's very it's just simple but just to add that little cutout right there just to put the flowers in there otherwise that would be a plain wall just adding a little bit of detail like that just adds a nice little element to the house and we've got a nice side table here as well but if we go through here this takes us through to the main kitchen now we're using that countertop block once again and you know what that looks really cool for a kitchen I've never used this design personally with this like bottom half of a piston but it looks really cool for a kitchen even with the sink look at that it may, it like emphasizes the sink a lot more when you put it there I think that's just a normal uh, so I'm gonna say a cauldron but it's a hopper but it really emphasizes the sink quite a lot and I think it looks really really cool it just looks really nice now if we go through here we have the stove top there as well and we have this nice fan above using piston blocks and making it look really realistic and we have a fridge over there as well now we have a nice little seating area here looking really cool just to add that little bit of element otherwise it would be like an uh, open area right here which it wouldn't be too bad because the house is very simplistic inside but i like the fact you've just added this nice little seating area here because you don't need a dining room in here because you've got one over there so just to add a nice little bit there and this leads us back around through to the garage that we saw at the beginning of the video look at these lights up in the ceiling i'm not even sure what these are made of is that what block is that? is that a beacon yes yeah, a beacon block looks really cool as light so doesn't it and it actually gives off light as well so let's continue going back down the end of this corridor here where we entered the house and we are going to go through to the other side so this is where like the main lobby area was and this is the living room look at this very grand living room design but at the same time very minimalistic looking really sleek with the same couch design that we saw in that kind of lobby area different design here never seen this design before but it works it definitely does work uh, we've got some nice hanging lights over here with a table uh, glass cabinet that we saw before some more hanging lights that's that's unique just putting some plant plots on the floor it doesn't look bad but it's just it's just unusual to see like just plant pots on the floor like that we've got a nice uh, coffee table huge coffee table and this big screen kind of I don't even know if it's a projector or a TV but it's, it looks really cool I would say a projector because it's white you know you expect the TV to be uh, all black um, and we've got this really nice sliding door here oh cool that's awesome Look, look at that little bit of detail right there, guys. So he's doubled up the glass panes to make it look like the glass is kind of folding around on itself. So it looks like it's sliding open. I like that little touch right there. And these doors kind of just lead us back out to the outside that we saw before. Very nice attention to detail right there. So let's continue on going through here. And we have two more rooms. Let's go in this little room first. This is our bathroom. We have a book on the toilet. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's meant to be there or not. And we have, is that a shower? I'm not even sure what this is. No, it doesn't look like a shower. It just looks like a, maybe a glass cabinet where you'd store store all your toiletries and stuff. And we go through here and we have, our. I was going to say our first bedroom, but no, this is a music studio. Look at this. Absolutely crazy. So you've got speakers hanging from the wall. You've got a big couch where you can just chill and watch the watch the kind of like producer do his thing. You've got a big DJ. Uh, I don't even know what he's going to say DJ decks, but it's not a DJ deck, is it? It's like where they mix the music uh, for the producer and stuff. Looking absolutely awesome right there with a the TV. And this is a soundproof uh, booth right here, even with the sound paneling on the walls. I love that little attention to detail there, using ba banners as the sound paneling, and you can stand here. See Sing your songs whatever you're gonna do nice little touch for the music studio now i'm thinking judging by the rooms in this house i'm thinking xc built this house i think because he's put music studios like this before in here so that's my guess if i'm wrong i'm really sorry to the person if i'm wrong but i'm thinking xc uh built this house i'm not 100 sure though so let's continue on going back around here we can actually head upstairs now we've got this little staircase right here we're back at the front entrance if you didn't realize we're gonna go up here and we have a long corridor leading to another bunch of rooms so let's start off in this room over here 
here and this is our second bathroom with an actual shower so we have our shower head there nice simple design with a sink and a toilet not much to see here but it looks very very nice and look at this i love that as well just that nice little bar support area just adding that extra bit of detail just slight little touches like that just add, uh, add so much to the house so this is our first bedroom that we come across very very nice bedroom indeed i love the big windows and especially with that little kind of like overhang on the outside it just adds that element of privacy it looks really really cool and we have this nice side table with a neon cat tv i guess i'm not sure what that is but it's looking awesome very nice bedroom design as well yeah i definitely think this is xc this looks like his style definitely with the bedrooms as well so if we're going through here we have our second bedroom oh this one looks more like the master bedroom i like this room a lot more i think i think someone's been playing with the levers here i don't want to touch it should i touch it because yep i knew i was gonna break it <laughs> i'm sorry i broke it i shouldn't have touched it i was trying to flip it back but maybe uh, someone's rotated this house that's why it's kind of messed up like that but look at this bedroom very nice bedroom indeed look at the view right here you get to see the swimming pool out in the distance awesome view you've got a big screen tv right there on the wall with some nice surround sound speakers and we've got chairs at the bottom of the bed a little uh, breakfast table thing for in the bedroom and then you have your clothes hanging up at the side it's probably my favorite room so far i like this room a lot let's head back down the corridor this way got a nice little seating area just to break up the corridor and stop it from feeling too plain i do like that and we go into this room and this is our third bedroom this is a pretty much similar to the first bedroom we saw same bed design same shelf and lighting design but we have a really cool desk design right here look at this desk with this nice little gaming chair look at that design for a gaming chair guys that is some inspiration right there if you need it look at that looks absolutely awesome uh, with these nice big windows running theme throughout the whole house so we continue on going through into this room and this is another bedroom as well so all the bedrooms are very very similar but they all have their own unique little touch like the second bedroom over here had what did it have again i know that bedroom had the desk this bedroom had the big screen tv and the surround sound and this bedroom here had the neon cat over there and the final bedroom has like this big ensuite i like that i like just adding that little different uh, unique uh, touch to each one of the bedrooms so we've got the ensuite right here with the bathroom same design as we saw the bathroom before and pretty similar bedroom design as well but just in a different orientation and with its nice unique touch with an ensuite and look got a nice window seat right here so you can admire the view as well so that is the upstairs of the house so let's head back downstairs and actually check out the back of the house because that's the only part we haven't checked out just yet what side are we going to go out of let's go out right here let's go out this side of the house right here so there we go guys this is the back of the house where we started the video we've got this really cool swimming pool right here and now one feature i really like to this house is this part here look at this this is a really cool little detail just to add to your house just give it that little bit of extra detail right there and it's the using the two ends of pistons going into each other but it just looks really cool like from a distance you wouldn't even know what that is but it looks really really nice i just like it the subtle things like that i think what could have been added to this house you could have maybe had a little balcony up here but that might have taken away from the modern kind of sleek slim uh simple can't say it sim simplistic feel to the house um but i think you've pulled off a really good job for right here and I, I think it's xc i'm not 100 sure really sorry if i got it wrong but really awesome house right here and a very nice modern mansion but guys if you want to come and check out this build for yourself when you get on the server all you need to do is slash tours and then find modern mansion on this list right here click on it and it will tp you directly to this house but guys let me know what you think of this house down in the comment section down below but thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you again in another server tour